Hello and welcome to Tabletop Standard. Today I'm sharing a video of my 2000 point orc uh, speed mob. This army recently won best painted at a fairly small uh, GT run by the deployment zone guys um, and I posted it to Reddit, posted the award to Reddit and had a few people asking about better photos of the army so I thought I would just make a video showing people uh, the units, talking a bit about um, my painting and yeah going from there. So if you enjoy the video um, like and subscribe. Uh, so a bit about my painting, I've been painting Warhammer for uh, probably about a year and a half casually and um, painting orcs for about six or seven months. Everything in the video so far is stuff I've painted probably in the last four, four months. The first thing you'll see is sort of the Death Killer War Trike, um, one of the two HQs in the army. I've my, my style of painting isn't um, very detailed. I, I wasn't expecting to win Best Painted. I have a few people to tell me that my painting is reasonably good, but I, you know I'm not someone who spends a lot of time painting. I much prefer um, to play the game, uh, and I want to get stuff painted to a decent standard and get it on the table um, to play to play the game really. Um, most of the stuff you'll see in the video I've painted probably over the course of um, each model, I should say. I've painted over the course of maybe two evenings, two or three evenings. Maybe some of the HQs take a little bit longer than that, but I really don't often spend um, longer than a couple of evenings um, per model. Um, it's just not my, not my style of painting. I tend to get a little bit bored um, and I, I don't find that I need to spend much longer than that. Um, to get to get results that look fine on the table. Um, so yeah, second is the war boss on war bike. Um, he is probably the least converted model in the army. Um, he is a forge world model. He was quite difficult to assemble. Didn't really feel like there was an opportunity to to make too many changes to him. But I was really happy of how he turned out. Um, he was a case of a model who, until you've got him, I I, I painted him sort of pre-assembled. Um, unassembled and until the final um, pinning together was not very happy of him but very happy of how he turned out. Um, so as I was saying in terms of my painting you'll see with most of the vehicles in the list um, these these are mostly dry brushed really um, just dry brush metallics and then I pick out a few details here and there um, maybe make make a few sort of conversions stick on some spikes stick on some chains um, but really everything here is painted fairly swiftly. Um, I don't know if people would want to see how that's done um, in terms of sort of a painting guide or something, but I don't use an airbrush. I really mainly just dry brush um, and take a bit of time on the bases and um, and take a bit of time on the skin and that really sort of brings the whole model together. Um, so these are my scrap jets. I've got, I take three in a list. Um, they tend to be fairly good love the model, um, fairly good at doing mortal wounds on the charge. Um, each of these are sort of s slightly converted, so you can see I've added some hobby chain, um, some spikes which uh, I just pick up off eBay. Pretty happy with the second one, the sort of golden squig, um, what are they called, hood ornament was what I was going for. So it comes out better on video I think you see here on the table, I don't know if people notice it, but I, I do like the sort of gold, gold hood ornament. Um, I have been painted. I painted this army sort of having been inspired by another YouTuber, um, uh, Tyler Russo, who is sort of my hero when it comes to painting orcs. So you'll see later, I wanted to paint a plane sort of his style and then extrapolated that to you know an entire entire speed mob. Um, so yeah, big big fan of his. So I'll post his video in the in the channel below, in the description below. Um, so yeah, so so th I run three three scrap jets in the list. Um, the war boss on war bike and the death killer war truck is my two HQs. Um, this scrap jet here is a converted scrap jet I picked up off a website. I think it was I think eBay. Um, at the time, I had painted up two squid buggies and then they were sort of fairly heavily nerfed and I wanted to remove them from my list <laughs> so I, I think about a week or so before the, before a tournament went online looking for sort of a pre-assembled um, scrap jet and came across this one which I was so happy to find 
um, it reminds me of sort of it was my, my idea. It's a sort of orc dreadnought style thing where the orc is has been um, trapped inside of the scrap jet and can't get out. Um, but I didn't make any changes to this model. This is this came fully uh, assembled this way already. Um, so again, yeah, with this one here, mostly dry brushing, picking out a few details here and there. Um, it's not a great video. This this model if you look from the top there's a few sort of decals and um i just pick out a few put, put, put on a bit of free handing here and there um so this is the plane the first i think this is the, one of the first models i did for this army um having sort of seen tyler's plane and being very keen to do my sort of my own take um fairly happy of how the planes turned out they look great on the table don't play that well all the time. They can be very hit and miss, quite literally. Um, but yeah, big big fan of how the planes look. And this was sort of my first attempt at doing some more sort of freehand stuff. Um, sort of specifically the skulls. And my advice to people who who want to get into freehanding and think it's quite a daunting task is just to give it a go. Really, um, I sort of initially marked out a few skulls of pencil and then just painted around the pencil. But really. Uh, you don't, I don't know, once you sort of get, get the hang of it, you don't really need to even do that. And the and the best thing about painting orcs as well is that um, it really lends itself to sort of more casual types of painting and more freehand, because I think when I paint models, I think of them as if this is a model that's been painted by an orc. Um, they're not going to be neat, it's not going to be tidy, it's okay if the paint, um, paint drips, it's okay if you make mistakes, because orcs have made mistakes as well. Um, which is why I have struggled painting, I think, painting space marines and things in the past where in my head they should be quite neat and I do struggle with that. So really orcs just, orcs lend themselves, I think, really nicely to a quite casual painting style. Um, lots of dry brushing, lots of, um, not oils, but um, lots of different types of washes, oil washes, um, and also lots of very casual freehand. Um, again, these planes are very slightly converted. The spikes are spikes I picked up of eBay. I've also had a go of pay, uh, using sort of nail art spikes and just sticking them on. Again, those tend to work very well. Um, so yeah, I run two two WAS bombs, two WAS bomb blaster jets, both with um, invulnerable saves. This all fully, fully kitted out. Um, again, very hit and miss. Either they do a lot and live the entire game or they go down first turn and you've wasted sort of 230 points or nothing, but that's fine. That's part of the game. <laughs> that's part of playing walks. <laughs> Uh, so next up is the sort of main bulk of the army, um, the Death Copters, the infamous Death Copters. I run 12 in this list. Again, all of them are sort of slightly converted, bit of freehand. Um, most of these have just got skulls from the um, skull box that you can get from Games Workshop. Um, I, I bought most of the skulls separately off eBay and probably should have just bought a box of them because um, it's a great box. And I'm trying to think what else I've had on here. Some hobby chain. Um, and I've done a few head swaps as well. Uh, these, again, really easy to do. I don't know if people want to guide and how to paint up death copters quickly, but honestly, these um, I could probably paint about three or four of these in an evening. The only thing that takes time is is just sort of painting the skin because you need to do a few layers um, over. It's a, it's a primer black, and you need to do a few layers of green just to get good coverage. But otherwise, most of this is just dry brushed, fairly quick dry brush, um, and some washes. But yeah, really happy of how these turned out. Um, I run, tend to run in the list a unit 5, a unit 4, and a unit 3. Um, and the reason I do that is because the unit 5 for 2CP can just come off the board uh, whenever you like, essentially. At the end of the round, having scored and then come back down, so they're sort of three free to fly with uh, without any issue. Uh, you can also take per detachment, you can make one unit um, extra AP, um, they're called boom boys, so the five and the three I tend to run as boom boys, so they are at base minus three AP, which is always nice, especially with Arm of Contempt. Um, so just coming up to the last, the last sort of four, I think. Um, in terms of the bases, again, I don't spend too long in the bases. The Death Copters come with really nice, um, already sort of made uh, scenery on the base, um, but otherwise it's um, 
uh, stuff, some flowers I found on Etsy, which I think actually for miniature trains rather than Warhammer, but I mean, I think they look great. I like a bit of colour to sort of contrast the, uh, the black, uh, the black of the jets and the black of the vehicles. Um, and I do get a lot of comments about the flowers, but yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the flowers, I'm a big fan of the grass, it just really contrasts, uh, contrasts the rest of the model. Um, which is why I use it on, I, I think, sort of the bases on most of my orcs are, have at least sort of one of these flowers, be it the purple or the, or the sort of more colourful flower sets and some static grass. Um, finally, coming on to the war bikes, uh, I run five, uh, three units of five. Um, I tend to run the knob with a power claw, which is a change I made after Arm of Contempt came out. They don't do anything. I don't. I don't think it's even worth it. If I was going to make any changes to this list, potentially I would reduce the number of war bikers and add in three more copters and go six, five, and four copters, and then um, three units of three bikes um, without claws. Uh, just because at the moment the way orcs are running with choppers and strength four uh, and everything having armor of contempt, essentially, uh, they don't. They don't tend to do a huge amount of damage, which again is fine. Yeah, I played them very differently. I'd never tend to get them into combat. I don't even worry about shooting. They are there to hold objectives, um, draw fire because they're base minus one to hit, and also they're very good at move blocking. So I have won a few games where people deploy a bit too far forward. If they don't have fly, the war bikers have a base 14 inch movement, six inch auto advance. Um, so you can really get them up the board quickly, which people don't tend to realize and, and stop. Uh, stop movement, um, so that's why uh, why I run so many, or how I run them. I mean, um, big fan of the war biker model. Probably my favourite GW kit overall, just because you can make so many different looking uh, orcs from from the same kit. I think having having if I look at looking through the models now, it's hard to see two that look too similar. Maybe you'll disagree with me, that's fine. <laughs> but really I think they look so different and on the board they look great. So I, I'm a huge fan of the Warbiker war biker model. Um, yeah, definitely probably one of my, my, my favourite kits in the game. Um, if you're making these, I would just remember to magnetise your knob <laughs> uh, with the three options, so the chopper, the big chopper and the plow claw. I didn't initially, so I've had to sort of snap off a few arms after Arm of Contempt and remagnetize them. Um, but again, I don't know if it's even worth running the power claws at this point, especially when they're hitting on fours because it's, it's a sort of unwieldy weapon. Um, strength uh, hitting on fours, strength ten, so probably wounding on twos. But really, like you're, you're likely to get, kill maybe, maybe kill a marine potentially. Uh, you know, with one knob. But even then, I mean, the number of times I can count where. They've just completely whiffed. Um, so finally, we have the uh, convert one of my converted war bikers. Um, very big fan of him, so I thought I'd make a sort of separate uh, showcase for him. Uh, this is a converted death copter uh, with plane parts attached to the sides and the back, and then some uh, 3D printed wheels or resin resin wheels uh, from eBay. Um, but yeah, very happy of him. If people want to see a sort of a guide to how to make these uh, converted war, uh, war bikers, that'd be uh, you know, let me know. So yeah, that's my 2000 spot point uh, speed mob army showcase. If you've got any questions or want to see any sort of specific painting guides or or uh, guides about how the army plays, um, yeah, then let me know in the comments below. Um, cheers. Bye. <laughs>